Hey, welcome. Uh, this is a live reading of a little piece that I just wrote about a track day I did last uh, Friday. A uh, guy named little uh, young a young guy named Max to the Pan suggested I do more videos on my YouTube channel, so I thought I would. And since Facebook Notes won't let me publish anything right now, I thought I would do a live video reading of this. Uh, this is just a brief little story about a track day I did last Friday, and it's called Into the Twilight. I've owned the fastest car of my life for a year now, and had yet to get it on the track partially due to feeling like I had to get to know it on the road first, and partly due to the disaster 2020 has been. The Porsche 991 Carrera S is a capable car, but I was somewhat apprehensive to balance driving it at a pace that would thrill and teach as much as keep it and me in one piece. The weather for this twilight lapping event was perfect, and the bevy of cars on hand was as well. At the top of the field, there was a first-generation Audi R8 and a Porsche GT2 RS. At the slower end of the field, an Alpha GTV squeaked and rattled through the paddock and then roared gloriously onto the track. In the middle was me and my red Porsche. The first session was a bit anxious for me as I determined which cones would, would, I would break at and just how long I could keep my foot in the gas. The PDK was truly helpful as it ensured I was in the right gear to keep the car weighted properly for each corner. My goal was to try to keep pace with cars near me until risk outweighed fun and to use my brakes as little as possible. Top speed on the front straight was about 142, coming through turn 1 at over 120 miles per hour. Hard braking down to about 80 for turn 2, back on the gas down the hill to about 100. Hard brake to 55 miles per hour for 3A, blip of the gas, then 3B, into the gas hard and ease out the wheel towards turn 4, up to about 115. Hard brush of the brakes just before the middle cones and catch a little curb off of turn 5A, set the car straight for 5B, get into the throttle for 6, lift just after turn 7 and brake at the second to last cone. Listen for the tire squeal and tighten up to the apex of 8, then put my foot into it, not all the way, for turn 9 as the car becomes a rocket ship down the front stretch and through the kink. I don't think I ever drove past 8 tenths of my skill, and I don't think I achieved 6 tenths of what the car is capable of. However, these sessions were by far the fastest laps I have done. Track sessions were a lot to mass are a lot to manage. Eyes on track, look up, eyes on mirrors, glance at speeds and gear selection for reference, uh, all the while pushing the car a little more or a little less based on what you've learned the last lap. As the twilight turned to darkness, I was happy I didn't hold anyone up or put myself at, or the car at risk. With my gas tank empty, a part of me was thankful it was over. I'd like to think I could just do this forever, but in truth, I always feel like I got away with something. So there it is. That's uh, Into the Twilight, just a little piece that I put together about a track day I did last week. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments below and subscribe or like if you want.